Also, be sure to give us a like and rating on our podcast. Be sure to listen to us on iHeartMedia, Spotify, and many other podcast platforms. Hey, my name is Rachel O'Neill, and you're tapping in with my girl, Cammie Simmons. What's up? I'm Shalea, and you are watching First Class TV. Johnson, the creator and founder of Fashion Showdown. This is my fourth annual show. I'm so excited to see what my brand new designers are going to bring to the table. Hi, my name is Toya Jewel. I am the designer of Jewel Couture. Hi, my name is Letitia I'm with Tish Marie. Hi, guys. It's Major with Entourage, the brand. Hi, guys. I'm Shinobia Stovall of Major and Me. Hi, I am Monica Bellis. What's good? My name is Ken White from the Ken White Collection. Ken White Collection is my brand. And you know what? This is not like any other fashion show. It's a fashion designer competition. Not only does the winner get a trip to New York Fashion Week, but they also get a cash prize to start the next line. Announce the winner. Yes, and that was Shakisha Johnson, founder of Fashion Showdown, all going down in Atlanta this Friday, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we checked in with her right here on the Trendsetter Lounge. Shakisha Johnson, who's the founder of Fashion Showdown. She's also the one and only trendsetter, as I would call it, as all of the folks who come through the lounge and also a former Project Run Runway model and actress who's going to be sharing the stage with us. Hey, Shakisha. Hey, how are you? Doing amazing. How are you doing this uh, Friday's Eve? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, we are. I'm excited to have you. Um, I was really excited when your team reached out to us and just really excited to not only dig into the world of fashion, but also the celebrity showdown that you all have coming to Atlanta, the ATL. Yes, this Friday is our yes. first fashion show down in Atlanta. Yeah, so let's um, talk about a couple things. Um, going back to you and fashion, you know, we've been impressed with Fashion Showdown, but for folks who may not be as familiar uh, with the event that's taking place this Friday, uh, what can you share with them about what you do uh, with your organization and what sets your fashion show apart from others? Okay, so me, myself, I um, been modeling for 20 years. Like I've done like magazines, like you said, Project Runway. I've been in tons of commercials and, you know, on Project Runway, I was like, I can bring a competition like this back to my hometown and help like local designers. So originally we started in Houston, Texas um, in 2018. We had uh, four showdowns. So we picked four winners and this is our first year in Atlanta, like you said. Um, but the show fashion showdown so it's not just a fashion show what it is is a designer competition so we have local designers all from the atlanta area i think there's one from kentucky actually coming down to atlanta um so they're all you know atlians and they here and they're going to compete for cash and prizes and the winner for the fashion show gets a cash prize and a trip to new york fashion week Okay. And then also, how does it feel to have such an influential um, or be able to influence individuals on, uh, you know, the design world, but also to have influential individuals on your panel? Because you're going to have celebrity panelists who are joining. Um, so can you touch on that? Yeah, it feels amazing to, you know, be able to give back to people in my industry, an industry that I love that I've been working in for 20 years. But okay, so on our panel of celebrity judges, we have uh, Dish Nation's Gary with the T. Um, we have Jiggy Jones, he's an editor of Source Magazine. Okay. And uh, Tamika Murray, she designed a dress for Beyonce. So, you know, she's like <laughs> dream girl. <Okay. laughs> and um, Pilar Scratch, she is a personal stylist in New York City. So, we have, you know, a collection of fashion people all over and they're going to, you know, pick a winner. 
Okay. So you got some heavy hitters out here um, who have been doing the dang thing, as I would say, in the fashion industry. What are you hoping the judges can add to the experience for those individuals and also just attendees who are coming out just to, um, you know, check out what's going down on Friday? I'm hoping they add like inspiration for my designers because, you know, a lot of my designers haven't been um, around celebrities or e anybody doing much in the fashion industry. Some of these people are just starting out. Some of these people have lots of experience, but I'm just giving them a platform to showcase their work. So I just want everybody to see it. And hopefully the judges give great feedback and it inspires them to, you know, go take it to the next level. So I'm curious, Shakisha, um, what do you want both attendees and also um, folks who are in the running for that cash prize and other um, uh, winnings that you have for them? What do you want them to take from the fashion showdown? OK, so for attendees, I want you to show up looking fashionable because it's a red carpet. So that's your time for the <laughs> <laughs> And I want them to get see these designers and hopefully like somebody sees something that they want to buy from one of my designers, that would be great. Or mm -hmm. put them in a place to where they can get some more exposure. And for the designers, I want them to just have a great time, first of all, because, you know, I know a lot of them, it's hard for them to put on a fashion show without having funds or connections like that. So I want them to experience like a big fashion show that they can call their own because in the competition, they have to pick their own music and models and style. So it's really their own show in the show because that's part of the competition. So I just want everybody to just have fun. You know, 2022 has been hard for a lot of mm -hmm. people. It's just time to get up and have a good <laughs> time and be around people, fashionable people, beautiful people, and just have a good time. Yeah. Now let's talk, where's the event taking place? And is it too late for designers to get in on this? And also, can attendees still get some tickets to, you know, come out and show out to Friday's event? Yes. So actually, this year's show is sponsored by MogulCon. So it is the last day. Um, it's at the Whitley Hotel in Buckhead. And you can get tickets at thefashionshowdown.com slash tickets. Okay. It's for the like designers to get in this year, but we will definitely be back in Atlanta uh, next year. Okay. Okay. Yes. And for those who are tuning in on Roku on First Class TV, you can actually see the link on the bottom of your screen. And um, also, Shakisha, yes. what are some just like last minute pointers that you have for folks who are coming in? And are you going to be um, sporting a signature piece? Or can you let us in on like what you're going to be popping out on on the red carpet? <laughs> Actually, my boyfriend swears he's a stylist, so I let him put on my outfit. I haven't even seen it yet, so I don't uh -oh. even know what I'm going to be in, but if it's not cute, blame him. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Well, you guys heard it right here on the Trendsetter Lounge right here on First Class TV on Roku, as well as Hits at 92.3. Make sure you guys show out, show up to the fashion showdown, celebrity fashion showdown this Friday. You heard it first right here. Um, and also be sure to follow um, Shakisha and all that she has going on at fashion showdown. Yes, and that was Shakisha Johnson, founder of fashion showdown, where there's gonna be a lot of heavy hitter celebrities judges coming on out this friday in atlanta buckhead area so definitely come out if you can you know your girl cami is going to be showing out and showing up i love a good party i love a good place where i could just you know dress up put on my beat put on my face you know get my hair did um and just come out take pictures have a good time meet folks and also just um enjoy the moment and it's going to be friday so it should be a good time 